The fact that strange things seem to be constantly happening on Jupiter was noticed as long ago as back in the 17th century. A giant storm, which is today called the Great Red Spot, was discovered by an Italian astronomer, Giovanni Cassini, in 1665. Since then, mankind has armed itself with powerful telescopes and space probes, and the finds have become even more incredible. A recent discovery doesn't yet lend itself to any scientific explanation and seems as if it's on the verge of fantasy. So, what was actually found on the surface of Jupiter, and how does this relate to Cassini's discovery? Imagine an atmospheric whirlwind the size of Australia with an area of about 7.7 .7 million square kilometers or about 2.9 million square miles. Now, create six variations of different sizes of this giant vortex and place them each around the first one so that you get a perfectly even hexagon. This sounds crazy. However, such an atmospheric phenomenon was discovered by the Juno spacecraft at Jupiter's south pole during a flight at an altitude of 3,500 kilometers or 2,175 miles above the clouds of Jupiter. Now, the largest whirlwind has dimensions comparable to the size of the United States, excluding Alaska, and the smallest one is slightly larger than Texas. At first, there were only six vortices assembled in the shape of a pentagon. It became a hexagon after one more vortex joined. These cyclones are a completely new natural phenomenon that has never been observed before. Single hurricanes have long been familiar to us here on Earth, but it's extremely unusual for them to organize into strictly ordered structures like the shape of a hexagon. By the way, similar geometric shapes were discovered at Saturn's North Pole. Only in contrast to the Jupiter hexagon, these are not separate angled vortices, but a continuous integral figure. The geometrically proper hexagon of Saturn reaches 25,000 kilometers or 15,534 miles across. This is enough to entirely cover one of Earth's hemispheres. Each side of the hexagon is a wall rising 100 kilometers or 62 miles into the atmosphere. It's almost impossible to find such a perfect geometric shape on Earth, at least on such a huge scale. However, you can try to recreate it in a laboratory environment. For example, if you fill a large 30-liter container with water and make it rotate faster than the strongest winds on Saturn, reaching a speed of about 500 meters or 1,640 feet per second, then you need to place small rings inside the container, rotating in different directions a little faster than the speed of rotation of the container. This will generate miniature vortices and jets. That's exactly what scientists from Oxford did. They painted the small vortices in the tank green and achieved different shapes. Ovals, triangles, squares, and of course, a hexagon. This means that there are special whirlwinds on Saturn that move faster than its atmosphere. Since the hexagon retains its shape for a long time, vortices are also stably present in the atmosphere of Saturn. The speed of the hurricane in the upper atmosphere reaches 160 meters or 525 feet per second, which makes it one of the most powerful hurricanes in the solar system. The eye of this hurricane, that is its epicenter, is 50 times larger than the eye of the largest earthly hurricanes. True, most astronomers believe that comparing the hexagon with terrestrial vortices is not a fair comparison. Saturn's vortex is more like a volcanic eruption. Pressure that has been rising inside the gas giant for decades starts bursting out like lava. There are no rocks or other solid obstacles on Saturn, as is the case with terrestrial volcanoes. So the air currents freely gather in the hexagon. This hexagonal vortex has existed in this state 
for the last several hundred years. The color is the only thing that's changed in the hexagon on Saturn during all this time. The change of seasons is the reason for this. A year on Saturn lasts about 29 Earth years. When scientists discovered the hexagon, it was winter at the North Pole, so the hexagon was blue in color. Starting in August 2009, spring came to Saturn, and the volume of suspended particles, aerosols, increased in the atmosphere. Here on Earth, we see aerosols in the form of fog and smoke, but in general, aerosols are anything that's formed as a result of the interaction of the planet's atmosphere and sunlight. As Saturn began to receive more sunlight over the next few years, from 2012 to 2016, the hexagon was gradually filled with aerosols and acquired a golden hue. Now, let's imagine for a moment what would happen if such vortices were to suddenly appear here on Earth. If we consider Jupiter's hexagon, the location where it occurred would surely become the most lifeless place on planet Earth. Perhaps, with the exception of some highly resistant microorganisms, that could normally exist in such extreme conditions. The wind speed inside each vortex is approximately 362 kilometers or 225 miles an hour, which is 82 kilometers or 50.9 miles an hour faster than the wind speed of Camille, the most powerful recorded hurricane in human history. In 1969, Camille claimed 259 lives and caused $9.9 .9 billion in damage adjusted for inflation. Just imagine what the scale of destruction would have been if Camille had grown to a Jupiterian hexagon. If such a vortex begins to move all over the Earth, then it's unlikely that any life stronger than bacteria would remain on our planet. If a hexagon from Saturn were to appear on Earth, that would add another problem to the catastrophic winds. The hexagon itself looks like our planet's ozone hole above the South Pole, only a giant one and with large walls on its sides. Solar radiation enters the hexagon like a funnel, due to which it can easily penetrate the Earth's surface, having a negative impact on all living things. Earth hurricanes are often quite destructive, but on average they last only between 9 and 12 days compared to several hundred years as on Jupiter and Saturn. And yet, why hurricanes take the form of a hexagon still remains an unanswered question. If you look closely, you'll find that in fact the hexagon is a very common figure in nature. Our planet is literally covered with hexagons, only on a much smaller scale. If you like to blow soap bubbles or take a bubble bath, and at the same time were to make a close observation, you might notice all of the geometric shapes in the soap foam, and it's the hexagon that prevails. Foam tends towards a form in which its area and surface tension will be minimal. Therefore, from an economic point of view, the hexagonal shape of the foam bubbles is the most durable and suitable. Taking a quick walk through the animal kingdom, you may find that the proper hexagonal shape is also quite common. Most arthropods have many small hexagons on their faceted eyes. Some of them are engaged in construction using exclusively hexagonal shapes. I'm talking about bees, of course, creating their honeycombs. From the point of view of evolution, it's likely that at one time bees built different geometric shapes. However, the smartest honey carriers realize that the hexagonal shape requires the least expenditure of materials and makes it possible to erect whole bee megalopolises much faster. As an explanation, in terms of the usefulness of its form, the hexagonal shape is ideal for the monolithic hexagon of Saturn. But what makes the seven separate vortices of Jupiter stick together in this configuration is still unknown to science. The only thing that we can imagine that's somehow connected with this phenomenon is an asymmetric gravitational field. This is rather strange though because Jupiter is a very massive and rapidly rotating planet 
which means we can assume that there should be uniformity of its gravity. However, such an anomaly exists, and it may be the cause of the mysterious hexagon. If in the near future scientists can develop a valid explanation for such an unusual phenomenon, I'll definitely share this with you. In the meantime, other equally interesting discoveries await us in future episodes. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so as not to miss out on exciting new releases, and come on, give us a quick thumbs up. And remember to share this video with your friends. It's more interesting to discuss such topics together. Until next time.